or could have been anything that I wanted to be. But I chose this. The life of a teddy boy. Now, why did I become a Ted? Post-war Britain. Doom and glue. No future. You see, I wanted to be a part of something that would change the landscape of this country forever. We were young. As a matter of fact, we were, we were beyond the future. We were hope. I refuse to be touched by a reckless, disgusting, sleazy Ted who clearly loves himself more than his own mother. That's a shame. I like the sound of him. Being a teddy boy, this is the one thing people don't understand, you see. Being a teddy boy is not a fashion statement or a game show and tell. What it is, right, it's a lifestyle. You live and breathe it. I can see everything in my head, all the wonderful things we're going to do. And I know that he'll treat me like a princess and protect me. And I know he'll make me feel special and important. Like a girl's supposed to feel. I don't mean to arrest you, but I've been sent on an investigation concerning gang activity. And there's been a lot of complaints from the residents about a teddy boy causing a lot of trouble. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I don't have a clue. Well, I said to myself, me with a teddy boy. <laughs> no way. But here I am, sat with you. We've already confiscated that beautiful Ford Zephyr of yours. Next, it's going to be your well being. I'm like Marmite. You either love me or you hate me. I could be your hero whilst being the villain in someone else's story. It's been long overdue, Marty. You've been on my radar for a while. It was always going to boil down to this. I could kill you right now if I wanted to. I wouldn't need a gun, or a knife, no. I could do it with my own bare hands. But I haven't, have I? That's what it's like being in my creepers. It gives me purpose. <laughs>